What's up everyone, this is Zach Has Games, and I'm back with more awesome Super Mario 3D World gameplay. And last time I left off, we actually took out this annoying sea world that got me killed about two times, I believe. But we're going to be going on to this awesome world right here that I actually really do not like very much. And it is called Trap Trick uh, Tower. Let's see. Um, let's see. I'll play as Luigi, I'll play as Luigi. Okay, let's do this. And we have the hammer bro thing, okay. Freaking boomerang bro suit. You just kill these guys right over there. Jump over here. And we're definitely gonna have to get rid of this cat suit because basically, if you don't strategize properly once you get to a specific part of this game, you're gonna have to get hit, or I would actually require you to get hit by, by when you have the cat suit because there's some BS when you have the cat suit. Like, there's some BS. I'm actually gonna show you once we get to that specific area. I'm actually going to show you where that place is, where the BS actually kicks off. Okay, take that out, that guy out, this guy out right there, and then we're going to get a nice uh, green star that matches Luigi. So yeah, the game is definitely praising us for taking those dudes out. Alright, let's get down here. We have not seen these bridges for a while. We only actually see these bridges during boss battles or the carnival rides. So that's actually pretty interesting. We must be up against a lot of BS, which I will be showing you guys. Okay, let's kill this guy out. Get, to get up over here. And this is actually the place where a lot of the BS is going to come, guys. Basically, what's going to happen is I would highly recommend you getting hit by the um, one of the bad guys and you have the cat suit, mainly because there's going to be some stupid stuff that's going to come up. And it's going to be very annoying it's really gonna be annoying I'm gonna get I'm gonna let you guys see it when we get there okay let me see okay take that guy out get all these we have to hit this freaking guy now we have one more place and we're gonna be having to get away from all these freaking Shadow Mario so there's gonna be like an army of Shadow Mario from like freaking Super Mario Galaxy that's gonna be chasing after us and the only way for us to get away is to just like run at top blazing speed so run as fast as we actually can and like I said, do not get the freaking cat suit. The cat suit is going to make you climb, and you're going to feel like an idiot because you're going to get killed so many times because of it. And we actually successfully got out. Let's see what happens now. They come out following us? Yes, they do. What the freaking heck? Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Man, they were like everywhere. Seriously. I can't believe they actually come out trying to follow you to get us. That's so weird so freaking weird okay my man Luigi doing that backflip we all know he's an acrobatist he's actually the first most acrobatical character in the game as well as the highest jumper Okay, so we got that taken out. Let's see something real fast right here. Where is it? What's in the warp pipe? A toad level? Seriously? Well, I guess we have to do the freaking Captain Toad level, guys. I guess we do. Captain Toad gets stomped. There are going to be so many thomps here. Oh, man. I don't even remember this level. I really do not even remember this level at all. Okay, then. Let's try to do this. Let's go right around here. And go right there. These freaking thumps are everywhere. Like, jeez. At least we don't have those like really annoying uh, bullet bills that actually follow us. I hate those. Okay. So where are we trying to go? We have to go some. Okay, I see it now. We have to go right up here, and then we have to go right up in there to come all the way up. I believe we're gonna have to come up this way. Yeah, we're going to come up this way. We're going to get that star right there. So now we have two stars instead of only one. Uh, let's see. The stomp guy right there. We need to get past him. There we go. But I don't think this is the way. Yeah, this is not the way. Let's go around. Okay. There has to be something here. Yeah, this is my problem with the uh, the Captain Toad level sometimes. They have really good rotation, but sometimes um, the 
the fault of like when you're trying to find out where the heck you're trying to go to get the star, it can be very bad. I'm just like turning around everywhere and it's like the game is like fighting against me just to give me like a really good area for Captain Toad to get a good view. That way I can know where the heck to go. Okay, there's like something over there and we're gonna have to get over here some freaking how. How the heck do we even get over there? Okay. Let's see something real fast. Apologize for the noise, guys. Okay, let's get all the way over here. We're gonna have to get over there. Game is on that BS again. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to fall down there. That's what we do. So we fall down there, but we're gonna have to get all the way up here. And we're gonna have to do the freaking um, Assassin's Creed Walk of Faith. Let's do this, let's do this, come on. The epic turn, epic turn. And come on, come on, come on. Bam, baby. There we go, and we got everything. I know it took a while, but you really gotta put your faith in me, guys. You really have to, because like I said, the rotations are very good that they happen to get for controls, but sometimes the camera angles just don't really agree to where Captain Toad really has to get. But I bet they fixed that particular problem in the Captain Toad Treasure Hunter. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. We get like so many freaking stars in the Captain Toad level. Like seriously. That many? That's like insane. Okay. Now we have to go to this crazy looking volcano level. This volcano level is going to be hard as freaking heck. I can already tell. Basically every volcano level that has Bowser in it. Or is like in a Bowser world. Is going to be hard. This one is Simmering Lava Lake. Let's go with Mario. Let's go. Okay, Mario. Mario, my boy. We need to get the heck out of here. I don't really know what the heck is going on over here. Whoa. Nice. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What is this? Seriously? I didn't predict this. I know they said Simmering Lava Lake, but man. Oh my god. I did not know it would be this high. Look how high this is. Seriously? Man. So we have to really be on our crap. We really have to be in our crap. This game is going to fuck us over. And remember guys, if you touch the lava, that's automatic death. So Mario, the people say that Mario games are not realistic, but that seems pretty damn realistic to me. If you touch lava, you're basically dead. I hate those guys. I really, really hate them. Okay, got that star right there, and we have to get all the way over here, and this camera angle is crap. If I get hit, that's because of the crappy camera angle. Oh, whoa. Like I said, this freaking camera angle, guys, is so terrible. Okay, let's freaking dash, let's dash, we have to run, let's go, let's go, come on, and let's do this. What the heck about here? We have this guy, too, that's like all over me. Go, go. We're gonna probably miss that star because these guys are just like, oh. I don't like those guys. Okay. Freaking gas loops. Like fire type ghost. Get whoa! What the heck? Whoa! Whoa! Man, that was cool. That was freaking cool. I don't wanna fuck with those guys though. But man, that was cool. I really like that. I'm so glad I didn't go in the fire like a silly person guys got like resurrected again you can't kill these guys I think the only way to kill them is for them to like fall in a pool of lava well probably for you to like um to what do what oh yeah star if you have the star or if you have um you throw them in lava I'm pretty sure that's who kills them other than that there's like no way for me to kill these guys which kind of sucks actually I really don't like dry bones because of that. Like, dry bones are like literally so annoying and I still cannot find out how to get that. Okay. Wow. Like I said, this game gives like the worst camera angles since like the N64 on some jumps that I'm trying to do. It's just like no matter how hard I'm trying to like really go to get a good view, I continue to get hit by these like dumb guys. Like that one was my fault. That one wasn't the game. But I actually lost my uh, boomerang bro thing 
strictly because the game was trying to like give me terrible views so i really can't tell where exactly where and when to go man man i should have really picked my boy toad like seriously i almost literally got snacked on right there and i'm not sure if those guys are automatic kills they're covered in lava like they're freaking covered in lava as realistic it, as it would be for it to be a one-hit kill, I would really hate that. I would really, really hate that. That would suck. Sheesh. And right now, we're about to play a very, very hard level. Okay, we got Bowser right there. Oh, man. Let's check this out real fast. How much does Bowser need? Bowser needs about... 130. We have 168. I, I suck at math, guys. I don't think we have enough. <laughs> Never mind. We have more than enough to get there. Okay. Let's see something real fast. I do not want to waste my boomerang, bro. So, we're going to get the mushroom house. Booyah, baby. Booyah. That time I guessed it right. So, we have another boomerang, bro, and another boomerang, bro. And we're going to be taking on this crazy little area right there that I actually really hate. I probably should have went with the Tanuki suit for what I'm going to be doing. I probably should have, but if I fail and I really do bad there, I'm going to regret it. I really will. So let's take on this particular world right there. And it's crazy. It's going to be just like Dash and everyone. We're going to actually play as Peach because if we fall off, I'm pretty sure my girl Peach is going to be able to get us that really nice jump. And since she's actually the slowest character, we're going to be able to get like a fine boost. That's not going to be too bad, so not too shabby. And we're also going to get the nice floaty jump as well. So hopefully I actually do better with Peach than I did with Mario. Because I did terrible with Mario. Oh my god, really? Wow. Man. Okay, so basically guys, if you use your booster and you take off running, you're automatically going to fly off like butter. Like your character automatically slips and falls like butter. Because they're moving so fast that you have no form of traction control so this is probably my worst level in this game because it's like no matter how good you are at this game if you can't perfectly just get it from the tipper like freaking super smash bros marth with his attack it's gonna be weak and you're gonna die like seriously i'm like i am like literally moving so freaking fast i have literally no way of controlling myself no way of control and then it's like when you go this way. Oh my god, wow, really? Seriously? That's lame. Like, this is probably one of the hardest levels in this game. This and that other lava level. Because it's like every time you try to do this, you have no form of traction control. You're just like literally moving so fast. I can't control it. It's like, it has nothing to do with my controls, but it's the fact of how the game is literally made for this particular level. It's like, no matter how fast you, no matter how well you try to stop, if you stop in your tracks, you automatically slide off the game and die. Even if I land on the part that doesn't have a speeder boost, I automatically slip and die. And I, I'm telling you, it's not, it's like really not um, me that's controlling it slippery. It's actually the game on this particular level. So I really want to let you guys know that if you encounter, if I encounter this problem, it's not from the way I'm playing, it's actually because of the way the game's controls are. It's like, wow. That time I couldn't jump. Seriously? Like, I literally jumped to try to get through, but I couldn't jump. The game literally did not even allow me to jump that time when I was trying to get through. Maybe something else will work. Yeah, this level's hard as hell. Maybe I should, like, I might actually cut this level out, and then I'll do, like, a level that's, like, strategically just for this particular level because this level is so freaking hard and time consuming and i keep on constantly slipping because the game has no form of control when it actually comes to this particular area for some reason it's basically designed for you to freaking die and the crazy thing is this level is actually timed so I have to move through this level at a certain speed or else I'll die. The heck? What just happened? What the heck just happened? I mean, I know I got all the stars, guys, and I didn't die, but I'm baffled right now. I don't know what happened. 
All of a sudden, I went through that pipe. I thought I died. The game looked like it froze while everything was, like, moving and stuff. But the game just like, nope, you're coming through the tube. And I came through, got my life, and I'm fine. Great. Okay, man. I am so glad we literally got through there alive. But anyways, guys, let's check out this area right here, and let's get this stamp. Man, that was so annoying. Like, I cannot believe we made it. Like, we literally made it on the freaking skin of my teeth. Like, if I thought I died, I, I literally thought I was just gonna, like, put down that controller, and my character probably would have slipped off and flew from, like, the side of the, the uh, game. I was like, wow, that would really suck. I just can't believe we made it. We made it, man. We really made it. Okay. All right, guys, this is the freaking final boss. Anyways, we're gonna end it right here because, you know, this is the moment of epicness. We're gonna end it right here and make sure to check out my content and keep on watching and have a damn good one. This is Zach Cast Games and make sure to catch my part 22. See you guys later.